go. Okay, the next step of replacing a string, how to tie the knot for the middle section of your harp. First, remove the string from the bag. A brand new string for this area will actually have two string lengths on it. So if you're careful and you tie your knot well near the bot end, you will get two strings out of this one length. You can see it's like a spring. So the first step is to come down about an inch in from your end. You're going to twist it, bend it, get it flexible. You can see how I'm getting the little um, fibers of, to show. Then I'm going to take this hand, wrap around to where I have it looped behind my end. It's very important that it goes behind the short end. Now I take my long end, get it straightened out, and then again, make a second loop that's bigger than your first one, and you wrap it behind. So you have two loops with both loop going behind. Now I take the big loop, place it over my little loop, and I start cinching it down, holding everything because it's still quite springy, like a spring or a slinky. If I leave this like it is, I have a perfectly good knot, but once the tension pulls my knot tight, it will pull through the hole in my heart. So at this point, I need to add what is called a string end. My harp uses a very simple, easy to come by string end. It's literally the old broken strings of these lower octave gut strings cut into about one inch lengths. Other harps use other methods. Some use um, a little wooden or bamboo dowel. Some use a wad of cotton. Um, this is works great. You're, um, you can easily make it. As soon as you break one of these ones, save it and start cutting it into little pieces. Now I'm going to take my string end and place it right here in this hole in front of my, sec or my first made little loop. I'm going to continue to cinch that knot by pulling onto the string end. So this is the completed knot. Then I'm going to hold it with one hand because it's quite loose and there's always a string end that likes to run away as soon as you get it into the back of the harp before you've put tension on it. Next, I'm going to fish my string through the back of the harp. Some people like to just put the string through first and work with just the tail end right over here. I haven't had much luck with that. I always end up pulling the string out just in the process of making the knot. But maybe you'll have luck with it that way. Then I switch my hands. My right hand is now holding the knot and the string end, just like that. My left hand is going to pull the string through if you get a big kink, stop and loosen it out with your hand 
don't just pull it free because you could put a good um, kink in your fibers in the string and that would become a weak point. My hand is going to go into the back of the harp and I'm going to hold the string end and the knot up against the soundboard while I pull the string all the way up tight. This is where the string ends like to run away and fall out into the bottom of the heart. So, camera gal, can you get a picture of this on the inside? I'm holding the string end, just balancing it really, keeping it horizontal. You'll have better luck of it staying in place if you keep it horizontal than vertical. I'm keeping plenty of tension on this string. I'm keeping it tight so that it all stays in place in the back. So that is how to enter it into your part.